Hello everyone, today we will be going over some Blind75 C++ lead code and today we are working with group and uh, anagrams. Given an array of strings STRS, group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. Now, before we uh, head down to be able to break up the question, we need to ask ourselves four questions. Input, what data structure slash algorithm uh, slash technique we need to use, what to do with the data, and what our output is going to be. Now. We already know what our given input is. We are given a string, and a vector of strings, actually. Hence the parameter up here, vector and strings. Here, quoted. And to note, an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original uh, letters exactly once, like e, t, tan, eight, nat, bat. And then you're able to group them all together to see if they are. All right. And uh, looks like we need to return another vector, but with all the anagrams grouped together, their respected characters and strings. And uh, the algorithm technique that we're going to be using, and uh, we're just going to be using this type of uh, structure, and it's going to be called, a ha we'll be using a hash map, like we have for strings before, in terms of keeping track of frequencies at the same time, uh, for valid anagram two. All right, and with our following hash map, what we will be doing is uh, grouping the anagrams together. And what we will do with the following data is we will iterate through each string in STRS, sort it, and then add it to the corresponding group in the hash map. And so what we will be doing for the following steps right here is one, we need to initialize a hash map to store the groups of anagrams where uh, our um, parameters are going to be string and then vector of string then we will scan through the array and then we will loop through we will sort the string from beginning to end Add the sorted string to the corresponding group in the hash map. And then afterwards, while we are still doing this, uh, uh, we would initialize our result vector after we scanned everything and sorted it. And then what we will do is that for our result we'll iterate through the values in our hash map and add them to the resulting uh, vector. result vector finally output our result vector. So technically five steps with what we have and we're gonna break this down over what we need. So to break it down, step one, initialize our hash map where it should be an unordered map which is widely used in C++ for these type of problems. We will have a string and then a vector uh, string. I'm gonna call this thing groups. We're going to loop through the array, or array of strings, to make it correct. String and, for string and str, strs, since str is going to represent one of the strings for the whole array, this is like a for each loop, except we're dealing with strings, and what we're going to be doing is sorting it all.
so that means string sorted equals str and then we will sort our entire string from beginning there we go then add the sorted uh, string means group will be sorted within our hash map because it's everything that's already been set in place and then we'll use pushback to be able to put our method of the sorted string in our hash map. We're going to initialize the result vector. And finally, what we will be doing for step four, we're going to iterate through and then output a result. So to do that, it's just another four auto. Group in groups, result dot push back group dot second, where second is um, another is a method that's already called in the SDL library whenever we're doing a for auto loop, and then finally return our results. So there we go. Five different steps already set in place. Let's make sure everything's already lined up. It passes all the test cases. If not, then we have an error that we need to fix. Push back and not bash. Back now, Basque, and make sure you spell everything correctly. Sorry, it's just a little bit late on my end. String result. There we go. It passes all the test cases. Submit this. All right, and our solution works. Let me just clean this up for you, folks. Right. There we go, and this is our solution right over here. Okay, so to give a breakdown in space and um, time complexity, our time complexity is actually going to be very unique to this. It's going to be O n times k log of k, where n is the number of strings in STRS and k is the maximum length of a string in STRS. Um, hence, given the constant um, time times the um, K, which represents the input of the following character of strings, um, and it's also because we iterate through each string once and sort it, and therefore take it as based on the complexity time. Now, the sp space complexity is also going to be unique because K is going to represent the uh, strings number. Uh, it's going to represent the number of strings inside of our string array. Um, it's going to be O n times K. Um, where n represents the number of strings in the whole string array, and since it's going inward, since there's a string uh, inside of the whole string uh, array, this would explain our space complexity at the same time in that we're using a data structure to store everything, 
And so relative to the size of the data structure of our hash map, uh, we will be corresponding and storing other uh, strings as well inside of our hash map. So yeah, this was group anagrams. Thank you again for taking time to watch this. If you found this helpful, feel free to uh, like, and uh, like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers.